Hey guys, I'm going to show you something really cool today. Uh, this will be using a, an existing feature of AMZ Analyzer uh, to do something that maybe you haven't thought of or um, maybe you just haven't experimented very much with the filters uh, to know that this even exists. But uh, this idea actually came from one of our customers and he, um, he figured out a way to use the filter editor to set different filter requirements uh, per category. So what does that mean? Well, have you ever noticed that, uh, you know, a, a 50,000 sales rank may be really, really good in one category, but really not great in another? Or maybe it's 100,000, whatever the number is. We all know that the categories where the products are sold which are shown here in this product group column, they are not the same. And uh, Kitchen, for example, is going to be much more competitive than um, Office product, which means that I could live with a higher uh, sales rank in Kitchen than I can in Office product. So wouldn't it be cool if I can set different filters per category group, per, per product group, uh, to uh, to uh, take that into account. Well, you can, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, we're going to click on the filter editor. We bring up this page right here. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky, okay? And uh, if you're not really good with this, you're just going to have to follow along and copy this, okay? But uh, first and foremost, you know, we can click on you know these these links here and create very simple filters I could say you know show me everything product group begins with you know whatever um, but I'm gonna take that out and here's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep the end there we're gonna click here and we're gonna add a group we're gonna we're gonna click again and we're gonna rename this group to or okay just follow along with me here we're going to click on the or and we're gonna add another group and this group will be and. So we have an and or and filter going on here. I know it seems a little bit confusing, but just copy this and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. So let's say that, um, you know, I, I would like uh, to first focus on the, uh, yeah, the, the kitchen product group, right? So I'm going to say product group, whoops, product group equals, kitchen. I'm going to add another filter here and I'm going to add sales rank to uh, to the mix here. So I'm going to scroll down here, select sales rank, and I'm going to say for the kitchen category I would like to see sales rank that is uh, less than or equal to, call it uh, 125,000. Now we go back to this or and we add another group. Okay, so now we want, uh, let's say we want product group that equals um, home garden. Okay, now we're gonna add a condition and say uh, sales rank is less than or equal to, so home garden, I'm going to assume, is uh, less competitive than kitchen. I don't know that. I'd have to look that up. There are plenty of charts out there, but for purposes of demonstration, let's just assume that it's not that great, and um, I need my uh, sales rank to be under 75,000 for this particular product group. Okay, now I'm going to go back and repeat this step, and I'm going to add a group. Let's say now product group equals um, office product, right? So office group equals office product with a, and let's just say that uh, office product is also not that competitive and I need a lower sales rank. Um, so I need a sales rank that's less than or equal to 50,000. Again, I'm just making these numbers up, but I think you guys understand. I'm going to do one more here and add a group, product group equals, uh, I see pet products in here, right? So I'm going to say pet products. 
we're going to add sales rank. Sales rank less than or equal to 60,000 for the uh, pet products category. So you guys get the point. You could keep going. You could add as many as you like. But I'd like to show you what happens now when I click on apply. You could see clearly it has now uh, filtered my results and uh, we should no longer see sales ranks above 125,000 for the uh, kitchen category. Um, we will not see anything above 75,000 for the home garden category and nothing above, um, you know, 60,000 for, for pet products and so on and so on. Uh, what this allows you to do is set multiple filters um, that work together to accomplish the overall objective here of getting the best products quickly into your uh, results. And here is the really cool thing about all this, right? So you see that, you know, all of these filters, you could see them down here. If you want to edit them, you can, you could edit them easily and you could save your grid view, right? I'm going to do this as filter by category two. You could save this now. You could make other changes, whatever you want. And now you could save this. I'm gonna go back to this standard view here, pre-edits. And now anytime you'd like to apply this filter, you don't have to do all that again. You simply click on the grid view and select filter by category two, which is the filter, we, which, which is the view we just saved. And voila, it's back. And this is the one I did right before filming this uh, recap. It should be about the same, it is. And um, it's just that simple, guys. Uh, pretty cool, I think. Um, you know, this functionality is uh, very robust. The filter functionality is very robust. Uh, I'd love to see what other kind of creative things you guys can come up with. Uh, if you feel like you've, uh, you've come up with something cool, uh, shoot me an email at sales at amzanalyzer.com and uh, maybe I'll make a video about it and, uh, and show you guys some more cool stuff. Um, thanks for joining the video. If you have not already, please join our Facebook page, like our page, share the page. It really, really helps us grow, and we appreciate when you do that. Uh, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.